Now, before I get into the meat and potatoes of what my video is actually going to be about, I thought what I would do is actually answer some of your questions that you had in your last video. Questions like, why am I posting to this channel instead of the other channel? When am I coming up and can we go camping? So I didn't realize that I was posting to the other channel, which we decided we weren't going to post to, and I hate how YouTube has the two different channel things because it doesn't make any sense and I don't want to post to the other one, but for some reason it was doing that. So I'm sorry. To answer your question about when I'm coming up, it's going to be August 14th at about 10 p.m. at night. And then I leave that Monday at about like 6, I think, from Seattle. That's 6 at night, not 6 in the morning, because I know how I always make people drive me to the airport in Seattle at 6 in the morning. I'm sorry. But because Brittany's wedding's on that Saturday, I don't think we're going to have enough time to go camping when I'm there. But the good news is, Danny, that we had four weeks in order to determine when we should go camping and where and all of that good stuff, but we should make it happen and it will be awesome. However, we should definitely plan around doing the videos because I won't miss a day just because we're camping. Maybe we should do it around Labor Day because that would be a good time to do it since we have that weekend and we don't have to do the video on Monday. All that stuff aside, let's talk about the real issue that's plaguing the world today. And it's not war and it's not world hunger or poverty or any of that stuff. No. As you know, Danny, I have been rereading Harry Potter, and I am now on the Order of the Phoenix. And I can't help but notice that there are house elves in this world. The little tiny creatures that are in servitude to the wizards. Now, my issue isn't with them being in servitude to the wizards. My issue is that they are in servitude and somehow reproduce. And I'm not sure how they accomplish that. And there are several theories that I have about this, and I want to know your theories as well. Because I don't understand how there are still house elves if you don't let them copulate. I don't know why this is the motion for copulate. This actually is football in sign language. One theory that I have is that the wizarding family has to give permission to the house elves to actually reproduce. And that would be maybe toward the end of their life or maybe in the, the beginning of their part, maybe in like, I don't know, adolescence or puberty or something. But they have to be given permission to do anything. And that would include things like reproduction for their species. But there is no shortage of house elves in Harry Potter. So does the family have to order them? Or do they just live infinitely forever? Stay within the family for generations? I know the elves live a really, really, really long time. But does this mean that the rolling version of elves also last forever? In which case they would just descend through the family over the years, but I don't know if that's how that works. Or who knows, maybe house elves don't actually reproduce, they kind of do some weird type of mitosis. It could be that they're also like bred in like a factory type setting, which is just really sad to think about. And maybe they have like one male and one female and all of the house elves come from those two. I guess they would have to have a couple of in order to not have like some kind of incestual problems genetically. But they could be manufactured somewhere and then sold to the wizarding family. But when it comes down to it, I really just don't know how they reproduce. Permission, manufacturing, whatever aside, that seems like a really terrible way to live and to propagate your species. But then it also confuses me and raises the question of what is Dobby going to do when he has those urges to reproduce? I can't wait to hear what all of your theories are because I would really like to know how they do it. <laughs> but unintended. Danny, I will see you tomorrow. More trains. Why are there so many trains? More trains? He hates these trains!